Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Nimbatus with me, Oathrix. And of course, welcome back to version 0.9.2 with the early access version with all of the new updates. We have the new end goal of getting back to Earth, we have the upgradable Nimbatus itself, there is loads to explore, and even a weird serpent temple with a serpent boss. There is loads of things I really, really want to see. So today we are starting a brand new campaign in order to see everything before the next major update. Now, there are loads of different leaders we can choose from. The heavyweights, we have the new automa automaton, automaton, automaton. Is that how you say it? You know what? Normally I'd cut that, but we're leaving that in because that's just the mindset I'm currently in for the very first episode. I can't say things. That's the new leader, and I'm going to be doing a one-off playing that leader in the future. But this time around, we're going to be doing one of the leaders I promised I would do a long time ago, and then simply never played with. We are going to be going with the miner, which means we should be able to get resources a lot easier at the cost of almost everything else. And we're going to see how good it is in comparison to the researcher, our last full playthrough, in which, honestly, that was a really fantastic experience, being able to customise our weapons. How much does it hurt not having that ability? Okay, we're going to be going in hard mode as usual. Minor, and let's get going. If anyone would like to read these, feel free to. I'm just going to skip them though, so you may need to pause the screen. Okay, so we have the pilot and the miner. 100% mining speed, and we have an improved drill. So this drill is better in some way. I'm not quite sure what way it is actually better. It has the improved drill bonus there, but I don't actually know what that means. Is it cheaper? Does it do more damage? I don't really know. By the way, this is what we're going to be sticking with. So let's see how that goes. Of course, there we are, the programmer. It's not even called what I thought it was. Well, that was worth trying to say the name a million times. We'll be doing a one-off with that in the future because this seems really complicated and I'm a little bit rusty with Nimbata, so I want to get back into the game to begin with. So then, let's get going. Once again, feel free to pause. Okay, here we are in the galaxy. So then, what planets do we have? We have a planet here, which will give us a level 2... Oh, wow, that's amazing. So that upgrade there is for our Nimbatus, and it will increase our storage. Increases the amount of drone parts that can be deployed for free. That is really, really fantastic. That means we can have larger drones with less cost, so that's fantastic. And also comes with heaters. Uh, less fantastic. This one is giving us small batteries and a larger magnet, and we're going to need to do both anyway. So then, what way are we going after that? There's something rare over here, which I do want to take a look at, but at the same time, if we go this way, I believe there are two shops. So I think we're going to go this way and then to the end of the galaxy. But to begin with, let's do this one. We need to destroy the corporation's transmitter. Now I think about it, we really should have done the other one first, but I just thought, oh look, we get the cheap thing first, then do the other one, but we've essentially sacrificed resource and increased how much threat we've got. No, actually, we've lowered how much resource we're going to spend, so we've got resource, but increased our threat doing it this way around, which really wasn't worth it, I wasn't really thinking properly there. So let's make our first little mining drill then. This should be very, very simple, just have drills on the front. Make sure we have lots of turning capability, that's going to be one of the major things. And of course we need our resource tanks. Now the drills themselves, I believe, can harvest resource. Am I correct? Is that the improved drill element? I believe so, because we don't actually have the ability to gather resource otherwise, which would be very, very silly. Much better than the standard weapon anyway for harvesting, which is just so annoying. Now we could build something like this, but honestly... I really hate building like that. Building like this just makes everything so much nicer, at least for now. Okay, that should be able to give us turning. Lovely. And then we can move forward, and we can activate the drill once we add some energy. Ooh, and we do have medium batteries, which is good, rather than having the smaller variety. There we are. Now it's actually equal. That's pretty nice. Okay, and all we need then is a resource tank. Um, a couple of resource tanks might be better, but for now, let's just stick with this. Uh, 
And I think that will allow us to go all the way through just fine without getting stuck. Just need a couple of weapons to make sure we have some long range capabilities. I'm just thinking maybe we just use the two blasters rather than going with the lasers as well because this will make our drone a lot cheaper since these cost five each now as we have gone over the free parts. This will make our drone super cheap and I think it will still get the job done. I think. Maybe. Potentially correct. Okay, just put this on a different button, that's fine. Uh, perhaps put them on the front instead. That way, they've got a bit more range. Where do I put them? Uh, they're probably safe there, but I don't like them jutting out so much. Got the laser just to make things easier for us. We have long-range weapons, which are sadly at the back. I think that should be okay. Is the fuel okay? We'll probably run out over time, but as long as it can last long enough. Nope, that's absolutely fine. I did try just one fuel tank, and sadly that's not enough, because right now it's being recharged from both of the fuel tanks. Remember, they do recharge your overall fuel, but only once they have at least some of the fuel removed. With only one, this happens. I'll go down in a second, and then... There we go. One of the thrusters is turned off, because there's not enough fuel to fuel both. Okay, so then. Let's get going. In fact, I could put another laser here. This way, we can cut all the terrain around us nice and easily. Um, that's a bit silly, but you know what? That's what we're going with. Okay? Okay, let's go. Let's destroy us a transmitter. Wow, that extra mining speed is insane. However, our drone is a little bit too long. That's something to note. Lovely. Grab all that red resource. That is a lot of damage. So what I'm thinking is we get all the resources from the planet first. Then we go over to the transmitter. And we just go straight through it from the world itself. Back into the depths we go. Oh, that is so satisfying. Can't wait to get some more drills. Nice thing a bit more... Actually, you know what? We could probably spread out these drills a bit further. Here's hoping that explosion didn't actually do damage. Hello, resource. I like this drone. Wait, how did you fire through the ground? That's cheating. A little bit left over, that's fine. Let's go back. Excuse me. Thank you. Once again, hoping that isn't actually hurting us. Yeah, we need to make this way more compact. Turning is a nightmare with these things at the back. I think, though, that might be all the resource on the planet. Just burning ourselves a bit there, you know, just casually. This is so satisfying. We need to make a spinner with these drills. We just have to. I underestimated their power. This time we'll go with the safer option, eh? I'm just so used to having shields, that just took me by surprise. Yet, this is going to take some getting used to. No shields, and very weak regular weapons. Okay, let's recharge our energy, then we'll finish it off. We definitely need more guns on this thing if we're going to use it for all missions. There we are, that'll make our drone nice and cheap. Of course, we still gain threat when we land, and that's why dying just then was so bad. Yeah, done, done a lot of very stupid things very quickly there, honestly. So, we really do need more power for this thing. Gonna remove the lasers. Oh! Do we even have to, though? Because how many parts can we have now for free? 
A 15, it's still zero. Okay, so anything over 15 starts costing us. Well, in that case, what I'm going to do is pop this here. I'm tempted to put these somewhere like that. To make this a bit more stumpy. Maybe we'll stick with it as it is for now. Let's put these one further apart and see if that helps. I think this will still not be a problem. And even if it is, we'll find out now. And we can still shoot with the kinetic blasters. So if we do have a little bit stuck, we should be okay. The next mission's nice and easy anyway. Locate the black box. Okay, yeah, we're fine, and because the cave we're now creating is a little bit wider, it's easier to turn. Still too long, but way less of a problem now. That's the sharpest we can turn, which is actually fine. Let's see if there's any resources on the planet first, shall we? Oh, I think I may have saw some red. Tiniest little bit. And potentially, you are what we're after. Nope, little angry bee. Fantastic. Now we can juggle these back to the Nimbatus and get a little bit of yellow resource. Which might be worth it at the moment this early on. But at the same time, this drone doesn't actually cost any yellow resource to use, so... Maybe it will, maybe it won't. First of all though, let's find ourselves some more regular resource. And hopefully some red. Thank you. And this will be the last one for now. If it was red resource, I would spend the time grabbing them all, but we're likely to get loads of the yellow from the future worlds we visit. Especially as the miner. Lovely. A proper magnet as well, rather than the small version. So, destroy the transmitter, get a large fuel tank and a medium. That's really good. So, rather than having two mediums, just have one large. That counts as one item, but will give us literally double everything. And this one is locate the black box, and we get some uncommon weapons and some batteries. And we only have to do one of the two. Ah. Tempt by the weapons. We could do both, of course. Nothing's stopping us there, but that will cost us more threat, and I've already wasted some threat by being a dum dum. Ooh, a VTOL thruster. I have never got a chance to use those. Oh, I am so tempted by that. A super capacitor, not a big fan of. There's no chance we can destroy the corporation lab with our current tech. Our current drone, rather. Wrong game there. Resource collector we don't really care about. You know, I don't think we're ready for that, and I'd rather get the shops anyway. So, yeah, we're going to go here. We're just going to grab the weapons, and then we're going to go to these two shops, see what they have to offer, and then go to the new galaxy. Oh, pirates. That's really annoying. We can't handle any more threat at the moment. I love the fact that this costs us no yellow resource. Ooh, resource. Oh, nest. They can break our drill so easily. Did one of them just die? Let's just not go all the way through. Let's keep on trimming it like that, shall we? There we are. Not really in the mood to fight, I'm afraid. We're not fighters, we're harvesters. We're greedy, but not malicious. Maybe a little bit malicious, but we're also cowards. Nest there, right... Ah, oh, two nests. They are quite easy to kill, but... We are so frail. Our drills can't take any damage before they just break, so... For now, I'm just going to be as careful as I can, and hopefully we can find the wreckage nice and soon. Go away! Let's 
so that if we do die, we don't lose the mission. Okay, won't be among you. We need one of the pieces of wreckage with the yellow dot, like that one, for instance. Oh my god, that is so much resource. Excellent. Okay, we grab as much as we can and get straight through. And we'll keep on doing that over and over again. Uh oh. Bad. Okay, we cannot run them. Just kite them and keep on firing. We need to destroy those hives. Don't mind me, just destroying your home. Your birthplace and probably the home of all of your loved ones. Nothing major. Oh, excuse me. This is what I should have been doing in the previous video more. The previous video? The previous world. Using the fact that I can go through the ground so easily more to my advantage. Especially since we don't have particularly good weapons, we don't have shields, and we're quite frail. Once all these are gone, though, that big bit of red resource is completely safe to mine. There we are. Am I right? I'm right. Fantastic. I'll take all of you. I was considering adding a second resource tank, but at the moment, this seems more than enough. Then we go home to make sure that if we do die, we don't lose the resource we already got. Just keep playing it safe, grabbing one node at a time, taking it back, and hopefully we'll get a bit more red resource. I know there's a big chunk of yellow nearby, at least. Well, when I get a chance to use the drills, the drills do lots of damage. The problem is they are very, very vulnerable. They have almost no health. And if one breaks, then my mining capability is basically gone. As you can well imagine. Um, excuse me, you're not meant to be able to go through the ground. Ooh, yellow. Okay, I'm fairly certain this will give me a load of red, so we need this. There we are. Let's try and grab that, and let's go! Don't drop it, whatever I do. Slowly turn. There we go. Just stay like that. That's as far as I feel safe. We need to slowly come back to the planet. Lovely. Now I think that's pretty much all the resource I'm willing to get. There's a little bit more yellow, but it's being heavily guarded. But I suppose if I do get destroyed now, it doesn't really matter too much. Huh, these drills are really effective versus those. Okay, let's be silly. Let's see, can I destroy all these using the drills? Probably not, but let's try it. Nope, both drills gone. Like I said, they are incredibly frail. So now I can't harvest, so let's go back. Ooh. Flamethrower, and by the looks of things, it's got the extra particle speed. Now that I really do like. Let's have a look-see. Yep, 100% particle speed. That's going to make this a really deadly weapon. That is nice. About the same range as the blasters as well, if you put it at the front like this. I'm going to keep both. It means we're no longer free, and that costs us 10, but that's not exactly a huge amount. Sure. Drastically increasing our damage. Okay, so we have the garage, and we have the shop. We need two to get to the next one. Uh, destroy the hives. More thrusters, that would be lovely. We have this, two common weapons, and two heaters. Don't really care about that at all. Three weapons, we need to destroy the transmitter. We could potentially do all of them, but I think shop first... We have enough red resource, we can probably buy everything we want. No, maybe we should do that last. Yeah, let's do. Let's just simply do the destroy hives first, see where we are, then we'll decide on if I want to do this or not for some more weapons. Let's go. Please, no more pirates. Thank you. Oh, 
Okay, so I just died then. The recording software wasn't on, so I was testing something. Because there's hives right underneath me, and I just ran right into them. Wow, they get set on fire so easily. Then I just kind of go mad. Explode. Huh. Fire's good. Go away. Fear me. I am the bringer of flame. Oh, I love this flamethrower. Particle thrower. <laughs> oh, need to be a bit more careful, though. Still love it. Go away. Oh, ooh, bad, bad, bad. Remember, they will set us alight if they touch us. Seems like they just keep on going forwards. No, they do seem to go in a random direction. Maybe it's away from... Nope. The little ones seem to go for us. The big ones seem to go away from us. Oh, <laughs> man, this weapon's insane. It's really good, but also so dangerous. <laughs> Chaos. I just need to destroy these hives. Then I can go underground and be a lot more smart about this. But right now, there's no real safe way to enter the ground without being constantly attacked. Ow. Stop, please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Ooh, shiny. Oh, this is dumb. This is really dumb. Yeah, maybe I should stick with the blaster method when it comes to stuff like this. Yeah. That was not good at all. Let's finish the mission before we start harvesting. And I've lost a drill. So without that one drill, getting through the ground was just an absolute nightmare. So I decided to just call it quits there. I am going to destroy the transmitter because we can heal at the garage, I think. So I think this is definitely worth it purely because that's there. And I, really, I really do want more weapons. Hopefully this time we don't lose our drill. You know, the main thing we have on the drone. We really need shields. And I need to be more careful. I just... I'm so used to having shields, to having all the later game weapons now, I'm just not careful. That's the problem. So because of that, I keep doing really stupid things, thinking, oh, let's turn the shield on, which I don't have. Please have no more hives here, though. Ooh. Ooh, shiny. Now this is a proper world. Lovely. Now, despite the fact we had to leave the other world a bit early, it doesn't really matter too much. Because we didn't die before we completed the mission, so no extra threat at least, which is the, the only real concern. Um, what am I stuck on? There we are. I'll just harvest all of this, then we'll go for the transmitter. Now, I think I saw even more red over here. Yes, I did. Not that much, but still, every little bit helps. Remember, the red resource is what you need to spend in shops, and shops can give you all sorts of stuff, and I'm hoping a shield. Or five. Mining with the drills is so much more fun than the harvester. Greed is good. One thing to remind myself, though, is unlike the Harvester, the Drill will continue to destroy resource, even if I am full. With the Harvester, if you try and harvest when your resources are all full up, you simply don't grab anything. And damage isn't done. With the Drill, you will destroy everything. A little bit of yellow there, don't really care. Is there any more red? There's plenty more yellow. But for now, let's go for the red options. Yoink. Okay, I need to be careful. So there's the transmitter. And I think after this, that should be all of the red on the planet harvested. Really should start using their proper names, but red and yellow. Nice and simple. Like me. Simple. So a few things. I misread the cost of stealth, so I've ended up 
grabbing sensors anyway, since that is still really nice. And we should have definitely lost the hull there. Now, at one point, back in the past, it must have changed again in one of the updates, you would hit 100% threat, then you would take a damage. But during that scene just then, I saw our hull go down to 2, then it bounced back to 3. At least it went down to 2 in the main screen, but then on the top, it's back to 3 now. So that's really, really weird. Okay, this time we'll investigate. Okay, that was nice. And now we go to the next system, the next galaxy. And we get to choose one of these. Oh, we need the extra drone part health. The extra thrust is fantastic, but that will make everything so much easier for us. Yes. And I believe that applies to every single part, including our drills, our weapons, and everything else. But yeah, I didn't lose hull, and I'm a little bit worried about that. It definitely worked in our last test playthrough. As in, we lost hull. So here's what I'm going to say. If that happens again, I will start keeping track on our hull points. If it is a confirmed bug, which it certainly looks like it. I could be wrong, but it certainly looks like it. And once we've been hit enough times to kill us then I will count that as a loss. So really, we should be on two now, unless we heal when we go through the wormhole, which I think we might do. So I just looked back at the last video's footage, and actually, the hull didn't go down there either. What I thought had happened was that I lost the hull because it shown up on the main screen, then we went through the galaxy, the wormhole into the new galaxy, and then we got our hull back. That's what I thought happened, because... I assumed I had actually taken the damage. In fact, the hull didn't drop. So we need to make up a system so that we can tell if we lose. Now, it can't just be as simple as you get hit three times and then you're done for, you're gone. Because normally you can heal at the shops, that's the point. You will take damage over time, but if you can heal fast enough, you can just keep on going. So I guess if we get to a shop, we can say we've lost unobtainium and make a little check mark saying how much we've got left how much we've lost and try and have an honor system like that so we just have let's say 50 unobtainium has been used so we can't use that 50 in our inventory and then we heal again use another 50 then it's 100 and try and keep track of the holes ourselves or i don't really know i'm gonna have a quick look see to see if there's any way around this i've just jumped to our last save the brawler to see if we can take damage the next time the corporation finds us. Hey, corporation. Nope, we're still on three. Well then. We can sell unobtainium. Now, of course, we do still get yellow back, but obviously the red is way more valuable, so I guess... That's one way of healing and then getting rid of the red resource, the unobtainium. Yep, try to take damage now, I think, seven times, and each time it just happens like that. So, I think the only way we can really do this yet is just to keep track ourselves and either sell the resources or lock off some resources which we can't use. Because that way, we are essentially playing the game fair, it's just we're going to have to do a bit of mental math, which is always horrible for me. Because it's numbers, and numbers aren't my friends. Okay, so in normal mode, the bug doesn't occur, it's only in hard. So this is in a regular difficulty mode, and I just went from 3 to 2. My final test then, is if we play on hard mode, but don't go all the way up to 3, can we get knocked down to one? This is the game, it's a bug hunting episode. Okay, we're back in a hard mode game. We haven't healed up to three. Now we'll be attacked. Will we go down to one or will we stay at two? We stay at two. No, we do go down to one. So it seems like the bug only occurs if you're in hard mode and you go to maximum. Now, of course, I haven't tested out normal mode if you go to maximum, but 
Well, at least now we know what's occurring. So, really, we have a few options ahead of us. And I would like you to tell me what you would like to see in the comments below, because it is going to affect the whole playthrough quite severely. Well then, in the comments, please tell me how you feel about these options. Should I go ahead and continue with the playthrough we're already going through, because I've already invested some time in it, we've got weapons, and just jot down what our whole point should be, which will be a little bit annoying, but not too difficult. Should I start again on normal mode, that way we can just continue, and perhaps I'll just, in the background, finish off the first galaxy, so we start off on the second galaxy anyway, or should I start a new hard mode game? and never go to three hull points, making it incredibly difficult on myself, but avoiding the bug. But once again, making it really insane on myself. I don't know which option is best, honestly. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then of course, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Nimbatus is a series you wish to see continued in the future. Even with the bug occurring, I really did enjoy today's episode. It was really fun to record, even if I did play a little bit badly. Hopefully, I'll be a little bit less rusty as I continue to play through. And please, please tell me how you think I should continue with this bug in play. So far, I can't find any record of other people getting this bug. I will be mentioning it to the devs, and hopefully it will be fixed very soon, but I do want to continue recording. I may just be patient and wait for it to be fixed. They are pretty fast with updates. We will see very soon. Thank you so, so much for watching, and goodbye. And while you're down there commenting, feel free to give me a like. That always helps. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Happy holidays. Bye.